Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be touring the newest build that I have for the Disney save called New Orleans Square based after Disneyland and a little bit of a recreation from Disneyland. So basically I created like a section of New Orleans Square and there is a lot here. There are quite a few buildings on the lot and they are each decorated to be based after different things. And I realized in my speed build videos and definitely go check those out if you haven't seen them already. There were actually two parts. The first one is New Orleans Square and then the second one is called Royal Street Suites. It is a candy store located on this lot. I realized that like in my explanation of that, that there was just almost too much going on with the lot that I maybe needed to tour it. So it's not the biggest build but I think this is going to help lay it out a little bit better and be able to show off some of the things about it that I didn't get to feature in the speed build videos in particular this building to the front right the green one here this is actually a restaurant that was completely cut from the footage of the original speed build video and then we have a gallery downstairs that I don't think I used any of the footage of and then even some of the candy store and Madame Leota's did not make it in so without further ado we're going to be touring today so let's go ahead and get started the first thing I kind of want to say about this lot and sort of explain a little bit is that it definitely has multi-purpose use. So basically how I wanted this lot to function is that depending on what you want to use it for the save file, you can actually just change the lot type. So by default, it is set to a bar and the bar location is primarily this tan two-tone building here, this tan one with uh, the green down bottom and I'll be going into each of the buildings in a moment here but that is primarily the bar it is called club 33 based after the one from both parks in Disney and you can also change it to a restaurant so we'll go ahead and do that really really quickly just so that you guys can see and you'll see that it still functions because it meets all of the requirements for a restaurant that is this green building in the front here uh, called the blue bayou and then you can also use it as a retail space so you have two options for the retail space depending on what you're feeling um, first of all this building here is like a spooky spellcaster witchy store it sells lots of brooms and wands potions and magical items so you could use it for that purpose it is actually Madame Leota's store from the Haunted Mansion so if you wanted to you could go take Madame Leota have her purchase the lot so that she can actually run the store properly the way that she is intending to or supposed to and then we have this one in the back here this bottom part of it is actually a small candy store it currently does not allow you to use it for a retail space because I've closed off the counter area so they wouldn't be able to access the register although somebody did comment on one of my last videos and basically say you don't even need to use the register they can check out with an iPad so I think you could technically still use it as a retail space but if you wanted to what I was saying in the last video is that you could just literally delete that counter space or this one as well because uh, I don't believe Sims will be able to get in through there so you could just remove the counters Sorry about that. I don't know what happened to the back part of the candy store display here, but uh, I had to fix it really quickly. So yeah, you could use that as a retail space if you wanted to. And then technically there is a gallery on the slot, so you could use it, I believe, as a museum. But I haven't exactly met the requirements for that one yet, but it would be pretty easy to match up if you were interested in that. So that's the idea of the lot. You would be able to sort of change it depending on what you wanted to. But what I wanted to do today is a good old-fashioned style video where we kind of go in and check out the buildings so that you guys can see them all a little bit in more detail and firsthand. I really do love this lot at night I think in particular that is how it is shown best and I really wanted this closed off alley feel when we were in here very similar to how you would actually see it in Disneyland. First of all we're going to be going around in a circle here so we have this first building off to the left. This is Madame Leota's retail location. Madame Leota's Mori Mementos and I don't remember uh, but you know the one <laughs> from Disney World and Disneyland. Um, It's based after basically like the gift shop that you would go to after you ride the Haunted Mansion. However, that obviously sells like t-shirts and whatnot from the ride and for the characters and that kind of stuff. But this is an actual store for her. So this was intended to be, oh, well, now I'm wondering if that view is not gonna be the best view for this, but we'll see. Uh, this is intended to be a true spellcaster store so this is a location for all of your spellcasting sims to be able to come and pick up anything that's related 
to being a spellcaster or the paranormal one that we got from the the paranormal skill that we got from the new pack you can see some of those uh, crystal balls there there's just like a random assortment of stuff in here some of it is debug like not things that you would actually sell then we have wands we have the crystal balls that have the familiars in them we have herbalism potions we have regular potions crystals there are brooms on the wall there are paintings there's all sorts of stuff they basically the idea was that oh again what is this glitch is this a new we got a new glitch with the sims where like some of these just delete whenever they feel like it um, so basically the idea is that this is a very cluttered store with lots of different things available for Sims to be able to come and buy. So you can kind of just pick and choose what you actually want to set for sale, but it would be a really great option for your spellcasters to be able to come and get something outside of the magic realm so that they can have access to those kinds of things. There is an upstairs to this location as well with some more, um, bits for sale the beautiful gallery wall all the way up. And there's also a seance table up here for use. So you know, like a location in the save file where you could easily come and get to a table that you could use. There are more of these familiar crystals up here. And then we have candles and lots of brooms. That was like my big thing. I wanted to have like a good variety of brooms on the wall that you could possibly mark for sale for your Sims. So that is Madame Leota's, this is annoying, but it's a Sims glitch, not me. Um, kind of a crammed little spellcastery store. I hope you like it. The next building is technically not a building. We'll kind of go back down into this view for a second here. It's basically just a way to get in and out of New Orleans score without having to actually go through the front passageway. So it's just a little side exit over to this park over here. Kind of neat. I wanted a couple of different alleyways and things like that for your Sims to be able to get in and out of the area pretty quickly. Then we have this beautiful two-tone building that I have mentioned so many times with the green portion on the bottom and the tannish portion on the top. And this is Club 33. So this is supposed to be a very exclusive bar slash lounge. And it's based after the one from Disneyland. So all of the furniture choices in that is based after some things that I found for reference in real life. It's kind of simple, has this like timeless feel to it. It's supposed to be a little bit high end. I do gotta work on the lighting in here a little bit. I want the back of the bar to be super glowy with purple because that's actually how it's shown in real life. And then there is an upstairs. So if you come up the stairs, Oh, we're in the piano. If you come up the stairs, you're greeted with more of like a loungy area and a piano, which is something that was featured in a lot of the reference that I was using. There's also a little bit of a balcony out the back here that's got like one seat. Um, I wanted to add like a lot of details like that to the building so that you could kind of see variation and it wasn't just so boxy all the time. And then this is the bathroom for the bar which obviously you need but the lot definitely needed one as well kind of fancy a little bit different than the rest of the location so the reason that this build got so complicated is because technically club 33 leads out to one of the other buildings so you can actually go out this door here which will lead you onto this balcony that I have put plants on. So it's not really a usable balcony, but that was kind of the intention. But there is another door here and it'll lead you into another section of Club 33. So I just wanted more like loungy areas. It was supposed to be a really big location and I didn't have the space to do it super properly in um, that one building alone. So I decided to kind of use up some of the other parts of the buildings. And then you'll notice that there is also a door here. So if you kind of go through, we're in one of the longer hallways. That is actually the arch at the back of uh, the lot that I'll be showing you guys from the outside. And there is an extra game room up here. Instead of doing like another loungy area, I thought it would be nice to have something that's more maybe fun and interactive so kind of basic like we have the foosball table we have the two card tables in here and i did put this on the wall but it is actually non-functional because of the way that it's placed uh you could remove the foosball table if you really really wanted it to work in here but basically the idea was to do an arcade I actually originally had an arcade that i was going to sort of replicate but we didn't really have the proper items for me to pull it off so i decided to do something that matched the decor 
a bit more and kept it more true to like what you would actually see in a location like this. So card room, poker room, uh, a couple of games and things like that. And that is only accessible from coming through these two doorways. So anybody that gets into Club 33 would be able to go up there, but otherwise you will not be allowed in that location. So that was kind of the intention of that. And I'm just kind of backtracking through really quickly so that you can see and then back down here to the stairs for the front part uh, that we showed at the beginning. So now let's go back outside and I will show you guys two other things. So this is actually the archway that I was mentioning earlier. That is the passageway into the arcade. The arcade is located above this building. That blue bit at the top there is that like card arcade room. And this is another way to be able to leave New Orleans Square. You have this sort of exit over here into the beautiful parks and bayous behind Willow Creek. So you can kind of check that out. Um, but we have the bottom part of this building, this red building here, where we have the second loungy area of Club 33 up top in that little building with this area down here was sort of left open. So I decided to do something that is related to the parks kind of this version that you're about to see actually kind of isn't um but i'll explain it is based after a former location in disneyland called the disney gallery so the disney gallery used to be in disneyland and it featured things that were about the creation process of disneyland so blueprints schematics history relating to the creation of the park essentially. And I wanted this area to have that. And I did recently find a way to do CC free custom paintings for The Sims 4. And so the plan is that I'm gonna be going in here and probably updating some of this so that it is more Disney appropriate. Removing some of these like base game things and putting in custom paintings, custom blueprints, things that are relating to the park. But just for the video today, I kind of wanted to show you guys what you could expect. It's a very small, very, very almost high end mini gallery. And this is what the version that has uh, that will probably be uploaded to the gallery will look like. But the one in the Disney save will probably have some custom things in here. In particular, anything that's like a painting like this would probably get replaced with something that's actually Disney related. Um, maybe that wall sculpture over there and those two things over here. So I just kind of wanted to show off like what is to come. It's just something, it's kind of an update that I need to make at a later point. And then coming outside of that building, we have two more buildings here. We have this one again that is the uh, tan brick building on the bottom and then the blue on the top where the arcade is. And this is... Royal Street Suites, which was also formerly a Disneyland candy store. I decided that I was just kind of gonna make a candy store and have your Sims be able to come and use it as a retail if you would like to. You can sell all of the candy jars for sale. Uh, you could set the fizzy drinks for sale, I believe. There are these interactable candy bowls from the Spooky Stuff Pack. I even did make, this is something that didn't, wasn't a part of the video, but I made a candy uh, dispenser back there with one of the sized up jars. I love this location so much. It turned out great. You can fill this, I believe, with some kind of sweets. Um, and then you also have these candy jars over here that you can set for sale. We have a little bit of a shelf in the middle here and then two vending machines. It's a very small location. There is a door that lets you get out the back side if you would like to. Small location, but definitely one of my favorites absolutely love how this turned out. It is my ideal candy store. And then lastly, we have the Blue Bayou. That is a Disneyland location that is located in New Orleans Square. I want to say before we go in here, if you've been to the Blue Bayou, this is very loosely based on the Blue Bayou. The Blue Bayou is like beautiful. It has uh, lots of blue glowing lights. It has lots of natural trees and things from the Bayou that I wasn't going to be able to fit in here and still keep it functional. So I decided to do a really toned down version of it. And this is what I ended up with. So basically just using the name. Um, I did use some reference when designing this place and I wanted to steal the idea of like the blue glow appeal. So this is kind of like the check-in area when you first get in and you're kind of waiting. This door actually leads to the kitchen. Very small. But like I said, this is not the primary location for this lot so I wasn't like too concerned with it. 
And then if you go behind these vines over here, you'll see that the staircase is actually hidden. So if we go up to the next few levels, we have the blue bayou and lots of the furniture that I was seeing in the reference was supposed to be like patio furniture, even though you are indoor. The idea is that you're like almost eating in the bayou. There's like patio furniture everywhere. Really cute, blue glowy everywhere. I love how this turned out. It's very classy, it's very simple. And then there is actually one more floor that your sims would be able to come and eat at. And we have another one of the chef's, uh, not chef stations, the waiter station, so that your waiters would not have to go all the way back down to the bottom. There's no seating outside. These plants kind of conflict with pathing a little bit, but plenty on the inside. So when you download the lot by default, it won't be set as a restaurant, which means that I did not get a chance to set the menu. So you will have to kind of coordinate that if that's something that you're interested in and you want it to be like appropriate food for the area or for this type of a restaurant, like uh, Southern cuisine, if you will. And that is going to be the end of today's tour video. I hope that you enjoyed and liked New Orleans Square. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. We have one more speed build before we're leaving Willow Creek and going into Hempford on Bagley. It's not technically a Willow Creek speed build either. It's actually a Sylvan Glade speed build. And then we're going to have one tiny video to coordinate with that. And we're moving on to bigger and better things. So I hope that you stay tuned for all of that. If you would like to support the Disney Save on Patreon, I actually just updated my Patreon and changed some of my tiers and perks and things like that. So if you haven't checked it out in a while or at all, I definitely recommend you do so. I changed a lot of stuff and I'm now offering more perks than I ever was before. So give that a look down in my description box down below. That is always linked or it will be up at the end of the video in a moment here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post. And I will talk to you all in the next one.